core responsibility of a drummer is to keep the time and maintain the tempo of the music. As a beginner, looking forward to learning the drums is confusing and quite difficult because you don't know the very first thing to learn and how to get started. But it can be easier when you are taught the right things in the right way and at the right time. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play the drums from the scratch by giving you two basic beats and a feel you really need at this early stage of drumming. This will make you know what drumming is all about and fully get you into playing this amazing instrument called drums. So before we go deeply into the lesson, let me show you some stuff about the drums. This is called the hi hats. This is the splash cymbal. This is the crash cymbal. This is the right cymbal. These two are the rack toms. This is the pick tom or tom one. Why this is the low tom or tom two. This is your snare drum. What you are seeing right on the top of the snare drum is the drumstick you use in playing the drums. This is the pedal. Why this is the bass drum or the kick drum. This is your floor tom. It's called a floor tom. Why this is your drum true or drum stool or drum seat, whatever you like to call it. Let's go back to this one. Floor tom or side drum. So these are what this part of the drums are majorly called. As you can see, it's already set, they are arranged. So these are how a drum set should be arranged. You can see my snare drum and my floor tom are the same height. So they should be at the same height. Your rack toms should be at the same height. So just look at them very well. This is how a drum set should be arranged. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson. So now we are the bass drum techniques. I'll be showing you how you can be using your kick drum. We have two ways of using the kick drum. The two ways are heel up and heel down. As the name implies, heel up is when your heel is up like this. While heel down is when your heel is down like this. So, as a beginner drummer, the first method or the common method you can learn which most drummers use is the heel up, which is like this. So with time, as you advance in your drumming, you can start using heel down. The heel down technique is common to the advanced drummers, while the heel up technique, which is like this, is common to the beginner drummers. That's the best way to start playing drums. You can use the heel up, heel down, heel up, heel down, heel up, heel down. So I recommend the heel up technique to you. Start learning the heel up technique. So let's move on to the next lesson. So sorry guys for this break. Before this video continues, I want to give a shout out to Drake, who is an active channel member for special benefits. You can be like him. So if you have not joined my channel membership, follow the link in my description box and join for special benefits from my channel. See you in the inside. At this moment, I want to tell you about the sitting posture on the drum set. That's your sitting position while playing the drums. So before that, let's talk about the drum true. When it comes to your sitting posture, 
your drum throne should be fixed or set according to your height and according to the height of the drum set. Drum throne should not be too high and it should not be too low. It should be average. You must set it according to your height and according to the position and the height of your drum set. You should put that into consideration because it plays an important role on how you sit on the drum set. So now I'm going to show you an example and also show you the proper and the best way to sit on the drum set when playing. So this is my drum throw. As you can see, it's not too high and it's not too low. It is set according to my height and according to the height and the level of my drum set. You can see, if I'm playing, I don't stretch myself. My position and my posture is very, very okay and I'm comfortable with it and it's very, very convenient. So that's why I'm emphasizing on the fact that your drum throne should be set according to your height and according to the height of your drum. So this is how it should be. I know drummers have different uh, approach, different ways to sit or set their throne, but it should not be too high, it should not be too low. So just make it average and according to your height, and according to the height of your drum set. So you can see this is my kit. This is my kit. And the drum throne is fixed and is set according to the height. Now let's check out how to sit on the drums. How to sit on this drum throne. Check it out. That's the next thing. So this is the proper way to sit on your drum troop. You have to sit straight. You see how I'm sitting straight and I'm relaxed. My foot, my heel, everything is relaxed and at the right height and level. You shouldn't sit and relax forward like this. Shouldn't do like this or shift backward. It's wrong. You should not chest out. Some guys used to chest out while playing drum. I believe that's a wrong thing to do. So just sit straight like this. Don't bend forward. Don't move backward and don't chest start. Just sit straight like this. Sit straight like this and have a good play. So now I'm going to be talking about the drumstick. We have five ways of holding the drumstick. We have the American grip, we have the German grip, we have the match grip, we have the traditional grip, and we have the French grip. But among these five, I use match grip. That is my own way of holding the drumstick. In the future, I'll be doing a video about them. So as a beginner, I will advise you to hold your stick the way that is very, very convenient for you. Make sure you don't hold it too tight or too loose. Let it be average because if it's too tight, you will not have a proper flow on the drums while playing. And when it's too loose, your stick will be falling off your hand while playing. So hold it as you want. The way it's convenient for you, the way that it's very okay to you, hold it that way. And make sure it's not too loose, neither it's too tight. Don't copy the way others are holding their own. Hold your stick the way that is very convenient to you. The way you can use it, the way you can play. Hold your stick like that. That's my advice for the beginners at this level. So with time, you can start learning other ways of holding your stick. So let's move on to the next lesson. At this moment, we'll be moving into the heart of this video. I mean the basic things that I will be sharing right here in this lesson. And if you are finding this video useful, please smash the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell for 
more drum lessons in this channel. So you know, drumming is all about timing. Right now, you are going to be counting with me one to four. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's called quarter notes. Let's count it together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This counting will be on the hi hat. That's this count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what you will be counting on your hi hats. One to four. Then on your snare drum will be coming beat two and four. That means at the count of two and four, you play your snare drum. Something like this. One. One, two, three, four will be on the high hat. So when you get to beat two and four, that's the count of two and four, you play your snare drum at two and four. Now the kick drum. Our kick drum will be appearing at beats one and three. When you count beats one and three, your kick drum should be played. Just as the two and four on snare drum, beats one and three should be on your bass drum. Why the counting of four, which is the quarter note, is still on on your hi-hat. Beat two and four on your snare drum, beat one and three on your bass drum. Something like this. So that's just it. Now, on our hi hats, we will be changing the variation. Instead of one, two, three, four, we will now be counting one and two and three and four and. This is called eight notes. So we will now be adding the ends in between the numbers, in between the digits. We will now be adding ends one and two and three and continuously, just like that. The others, that's the snare and the kick, it remains the same. But the changes only applies to the hi hats alone. One and two and three and four and on the hi hats. Kick and snare remains the same application. Two and four, one and three on bass drum. So let's try it out. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so that's what you'll be playing on your hi hats. The same two and four applies to snare drum, same one and three applies to kick drum. So let's play everything together now. <laughs> So that's that. So let me show you 
a beginner feel that you can apply to these bits. The feel is right left from your snare drum down to your floor thumb. That's right left, right left from your snare drum down to your floor thumb. Something like this. <laughs> That's single strokes four on each of the drums. If you have been following my videos, you know that I'm always teaching this feel. I teach it always because that's the basic feel a beginner drummer should learn before complex ones. So, in regard to this lesson, this feel is the very first feel you need to learn as a beginner drummer. So let me make it faster. Single straight four from snare drum to floor drum. At every right hand, that's your first note, your key has to go along with it, just like this. My kick drum is going together with my first right. So that's what you should play there. So I know you've gotten it and it's very, very clear. So let's apply it to this beat I just showed you. <laughs> So here comes the second beat I will be showing you in this video. You know, in the first one, we counted one to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But in this second beat, we are going to be counting from one to six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six. On your high hands. Then on your snare drum comes beat four. Why you can't four? You play your snare drum. When it gets to beat four, play your snare drum. Something like this. At beat one, you play your kick drum. Something like this. 
So let me play everything in full now. Thank you for watching and please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell for more drum lessons video in this channel and don't forget to share to other drummers, most especially beginners. Thank you once again and see you.